David Bonson with us now, the Bonson Group CIO, author of Crisis of Responsibility. David, that uh, that, uh, that uh, GDP report was a lot better than expected. Mm. People are saying it would be in the 1% range. It's over, well over 2 Why isn't that a bigger plus for the stock market this morning? Well, it will prove to be a bigger plus as we get into later quarters in the year. But I think that the issue right now is that within the number, the bulls are seeing a very positive sign out of the business investment increase, which is what I want to focus on as we talk. And then the bears are saying, oh, the consumer is slowing down a little bit. Um, ultimately, the, the number was bigger than expected. It's still below the growth we need to get to, but it is far above the growth we've been getting in the first quarter for several years in a row now, and that's after seasonal adjustment. So okay. I think that this is a very uh, bullish sign for where we're headed later in the year. Okay, hold on a second, David. I've got more economic news just come in, and this is the University of Michigan consumer sentiment. Up or down? Yeah, it is up. It finished. This is the final reading for April. came in at 98.8. Uh, it's down from March, which had a 14-year high. However, better than expected. This is a number that's always influenced by inflation, i.e. higher costs yep. and labor market conditions. And, you know, better than expected, still pretty positive. OK, David Barnes, let's get back to you now. You said on this program you really, really like Exxon. Well, they came out with their earnings report and the stock is selling off today down a couple of bucks. What went wrong? Well, it's up over 10 percent in the last three or four weeks. And so you have a very classic case of it getting its rally in advance of the news. And then as the earnings came, it, it uh, being a slightly less than maybe some really bullish folks that expected short term. But if you look under the hood, I spent the bulk of the morning studying the numbers and on the analyst call. And uh, fundamentally, it was their greatest free cash flow generating quarter in years. Um, they raised the dividend by six and a half percent. You're looking at plus four percent yield now and really, really solid news. And in the macro sense, you saw Chevron's results, which is another holding of ours, did very well. So, again, the big environment for these integrateds is quite positive. Um, I would most certainly not be looking at it as a quarter by quarter holding. This is a, a definite long term play. But it was in the low 70s at the beginning of the month. It's in the high 70s now, Stuart. OK, I want to talk to you about Amazon. I'm going to call that the stock of the day, if not the week, the month, the year, the decade. It's up significantly. Profits doubled. But one thing here, they are going to raise the price of Prime membership 20 bucks a year. Do you think that's a negative or a positive for Amazon? I think it's a negative for the customers paying it. And I think it's a positive for Amazon. Um, and I think that right now with the price level you're seeing with Amazon, pri previously you could have bought the stock for only 450 times earnings. And now you have to pay 510 times earnings. So it exists in a different stratosphere than something that I think is uh, easily forecastable or okay. analyzable. Um, it's a wonderful place to buy books, whether you're buying Crisis of Responsibility or anything else. But I'll tell you, as a stock steward, it is um, at a valuation level that a value guy and a dividend guy like me just can't buy. Understood, David. Understood. Honest man. David Bonson, thanks for joining us, sir. We'll see you again real soon. Thank you.